Okay, my good friends, we're going to go through what is in space and what is on Earth, and can we draw any similarities, and I say absolutely. Now, they are categorizing bodies in space. Now, I don't think they realize it, but they are bodies. <laughs> so, I'm having a little fun with this, but it's uh, kind of easy to see what we got. You know, I was really surprised to see that NASA finally knows that these are bodies, and they're going to, they have discovered them, now they're going to categorize them and catalog these bodies that are floating around in space. So, they discovered and they are going to categorize them. I was very surprised that they admit that they are bodies. Now, so now what do they do? Do they pose a threat, you know, like that? I think that was a foot, I'm not sure which. And, or like this tendon ball. They're all over the place out there. Tyson had one just the other day. Let's take a look at Tyson's. Yeah, so this is Tyson's spot. He's got, this is all biological. These are the tendon balls, and that's that ring around there. Some of them are embedded, and they have a ring that holds them in place. Some of them are just completely round. Some of them have different variegations on the surfaces of them. Some of them are totally smooth. Some of them are in eggshell type configurations. Some of them have webbing inside. It's apparently all different either creature... Well, I know there's different body places where they have different tendon constructions. It's, it's just it is. But is there different creatures that have them? We know we have dragons and snakes and all giants and all kinds of stuff, so who knows? All right, here's some more of Tyson's spot. This is a bilipid layer, which is like a cell membrane. It says that th this is the top and that's the bottom. These are the protein ion channels. That this is biology up here, and down below there's biology. In between, there's this membrane. And it is, look, it's gigantic. That's a membrane. You see the thickness between? That's the lower level of the membrane. That's the upper level. In between, there's some gooey stuff. And then there's like these tubes that run through that gooey stuff. Uh, I could show it to you, but Tyson has, and I have a million times. And they will not pay attention to reality. So what do you do about that? You know, if you're paying them for your education, and they're telling you that you have to say this is lava, then you've just been had. And that really, at this point, that degree is strictly an agreement to do whatever they tell you to do and to say whatever they tell you to say and to agree with whatever they tell you to agree with and not to make a fuss. And then they will sign off on you and then you can go get a job. Plus, you better be real nice to them to get your better grades because then you can get a better job and make sure you pay a lot at the biggest and best schools because they are the ones that are going to get you the better jobs and they are the ones that are the most obstructors of this reality just a fact when and and I don't know how you're going to handle this I don't I would if I was a student I don't know what I would do right now I my son both of my sons have college education. One of them doesn't have it. He was, my wife said, oh, just get him a regular education. I said, no, he should be in something specific. And she won, of course. And so now he's, I don't know what he's going to do. Uh, my other son has a very, very good um, job that you, you you have to be highly trained for that. He's a master's from Rutgers and all that. But, and, and it's working with equipment. It's not just theoretical stuff and being, oh, I'm so smart because I went to school. But, uh, boy, I'll tell you, this is not a good situation for academia. I certainly would not want to be in their shoes. They had their chance to say, we never expected this, let's take a look at it, and then everybody would have been satisfied with that. Instead, they showed their true colors. Now, you see this nanoscale. Nano is billions. And this is what we were just looking at, is that cell membrane. And let's take a quick look a little closer, and what do we see? We see that lower layer that had those holes in it, like this. And then we see the upper layer up here, which is up on that cliff face. 
And these are the bumpy little things that we see with the holes in them. Now the tubes are rolled away. They just because the you know this is like a gooey. Um, these are fatty phospholipids or what? I, I can't, I'm not sure what they are, but forget about it. They're just a weak spot. This is a strong layer, and that's the strong layer. This is the gooey stuff goes away. The tubes go with them. All right, you see what that is? That's the equilateral ridge on Iapetus, which is one of Saturn's moons. I think this is Tetzius, which is another one, I believe, of Saturn's moons. There's Mimas. That's another one. I believe these are all Saturn's moons. But what I want you to focus in on is these. These are not impact craters. All right, when you get into Tyson's video, watch that. And watch this and watch here. That's Iapetus. And I, I, I sent him and he shows in it something from Lily Lavender. Lily, thank you, sweetheart. And it has that same thing. It's on the wall of muscle. It looks like mud to us. But it's right in that wall. And you can see that ridge around it. All right. It's, it is what it is. See, there it is. That's the one Lily sent me. That's got, that's, there's a, the stalk comes down here. You can see where it wrapped around down here. This, believe it or not, is some form of biological tissue, whether it's muscle or it's the uh, interstitial. that's interstitial. I don't know. But I can tell you what, it's biology. Okay, so this is some more Tyson stuff. He's going to be showing the, um, the tissue layers. What? Just stitch in with hairs and all that stuff. I'm going to show you some He's more. He's got just unbelievable. More of that layer. Oh, You'll find it. none of this stuff in the membrane. Why is just the membrane laying there and no... All right. This is like muscle tissue. I have I have one right down below that I will show you in a second. Let me let him finish up. But look at how how many different layers of tissue there is there. This thing is just absolutely stunningly enormous. Ask yourself that. You see That's these the most insane broken. thing in the world. It should have this stuff laying around it too. It's not due to lack of debris laying anywhere. There's more of it here. You see, see how the, the tissue layers are broken off and they weave in and out. That this is all biology. You see, they, it, there's different patterns. It's got interstitial sticking through it. Yeah, right. they, this is tissue. Right. So that's be, they would call this cross bedding ge geology, but that is not what this is. You talk about sedimentary layers and this and that. I mean, you can go 10 miles away, 5 miles away, and you'll find none of this. Exactly. There's different places in the body. There's different tissues, types, and styles. And, and um, you know, some of it's tendon, some of it's muscle, some of it's bone, some of it is, like, um, like you said, interstitial. All kinds of different layers of biology that... In us, you can't tell because they're so small. You, you, nobody ever even knew they were there. <laughs> but now we can see them. I mean, think about that on something that is 50 miles tall. I mean, these things, I, I have no idea how big they were. It's absolutely, well, I mean, the dragon's a thousand miles long. So think of what the tissue, I mean, it's just, it's just almost too much for the human mind to consider. But I I'll also have the exact same stuff here, only it's, you know, not exactly that big. <laughs> uh, I would need a little bigger bench. Now, let me show you something here. I've been looking at this. This is the same stuff. Same stuff as you guys there. You see the tissue layers there? I don't know if you can or not. But there's, they're there. Trust me, they're there. Now, and they weave in and out, and, and then there's like abrupt transitions, and then there's the blocky stuff that he's looking at here and there where they snap off bundle fibers of muscles and so forth. Now, something I was looking at with this, I think this might be like a shoulder or something. Let me back out here. Alright, you see, you see this round spot here? There's a little divot in the center. I think that might be where a bone attached in here and the muscle coming down here. Um, you see the strap coming off. 
that's what normally what you have is you have like a strap and then it starts to build into the muscle fibers and then the muscle erodes it's the weak part but this is uh, I believe that's attached to a, a it could be a shoulder or something like that now something you want to understand about the tissues in here is mud if that eroded it turned into mud well the outside skin and usually it's only on the really scruffy surfaces but this has this is sand when that erodes that it's going to be sand that's silicon heavy in silicon all right, really scratchy sand. In here, when that erodes, you see that, that? That's actually just blood. That is like literally solid blood right there. All right. Now, and that the whole line services this tissue down here. And then there's another layer down here that's completely, ugh, that's completely a layer of blood. Ugh. You see, you see the tissue? Whoops, no, you can't. Ah, it's a pain in the neck. These things are heavy. But you can see, this is what T Tyson's looking at. And especially in, oh, in the other one where he's going to be showing the, uh, all the interstitial balls and everything. You can't see it in this. This is just not big enough. But in him, you see every little detail. It's absolutely un just unbelievable what the world has has uh, opened up for us to start to look at and it's not being looked at I, I think it must be just too scary for most people okay now I, I say everything in space is uh, biological I did this five years ago this was on my old channel I don't even do anything up here anymore mud fossils um, but it's Comet 67P Mysterious Features Discussed and it is literally a tendon ball and I show all of the biology I show exactly what it was I knew this is long ago when they reported back and I have the biology right here which is identical to what they have up on 67P this is the tendon I have here they have this exact same stuff up there identical no difference whatsoever that's an abrupt transition and we're going to go and look at the stuff that Tyson's reporting on now because it is also from exactly the same things. No difference whatsoever. So let's um, look at what the moons are of uh, Saturn. And they all have these spots, you see? Now what those spots are the actual attachments of the tendon balls and I show that in this video somewhere back here how they attach and where they break the spots and I, I go through the whole thing and and the chemistry too the chemistry is extremely uh, obvious because they had a probe up there that sampled what was on there and it is a hundred percent biological organic compounds and they just they didn't know what to say so they just said nothing so that's why you haven't heard any words about this from the Rosetta mission because it is too spectacular for them to discuss but I will discuss it so let's continue forward and see what really is out in space and it's a, it's hard it's a hard thing to accept the reality that we are now per, confronted with that the things they said were true they talked about Gaia Tiamat Supposedly, Earth was the head of Tiamat, and body parts are moons and so forth, and, and, and they damn sure are as far as I'm concerned. I don't know about Earth. There's a lot I, don't, I have no idea about a lot of this stuff. I'm just going by what we now can verify that has never been even considered to have, nobody's even thought about it. So it's, you got to start from the beginning again. You can't just say, oh yeah, look at that, and then just that's the end of it. It's just the beginning of it. 